Welcome to this uh, presentation on the spinal cord. Uh, the first thing that I want you to understand is that the spinal cord is segmented, and there are five segments associated with the uh, spinal cord. Uh, first is the uh, cervical segment, and that is shown in through here. The cervical segment uh, has eight cervical levels associated with it, C1 through C8. And uh, this is one cervical level more than the actual number of cervical uh, vertebrae that we have in the vertebral column. The thoracic segment is shown in through here. And it is divided into T1 through T12 levels. The lumbar segment of the spinal cord uh, is shown in through here. It is then divided into five lumbar levels, L1 through L5. Sacral, more inferiorly or distally here, is also divided uh, into uh, five levels, S1 level through S5. And then uh, lastly, we have the coccygeal spinal cord uh, segment that is the most inferior uh, aspect of the spinal cord. Each of these um, spinal cord segments will give rise to uh, pairs of spinal nerves. A total of 31 pairs of spinal nerves will segmentally issue from the spinal cord. If we look at the cervical segment of the spinal cord, there are eight cervical spinal nerves, one for each cervical level, C1, C2, all the way down to C8. And you can see each one of those cervical spinal nerves in the illustration. Again, there was one more spinal cord level in the cervical area. There was C8, and this thing gives you one more cervical uh, spinal nerve than there are cervical uh, vertebrae. The thoracic uh, spinal cord segments, again, they were divided into T1 all the way down to T12. Uh, Each level of the thoracic segment of the spinal cord gives rise to a pair of thoracic uh, spinal nerves. So we have 12 pairs of thoracic spinal nerves and then the number of spinal cord segments in the thoracic area as well as the number of thoracic uh, spinal nerves equals the number of uh, thoracic uh, vertebrae that we have in this segment of the vertebral column. So here's your first thoracic spinal nerve. Here's the one on the opposite side. And then T2, 3, and so on and so on until uh, you get down to the very last pair of thoracic spinal nerves. T12. The uh, lumbar area uh, had five uh, spinal cord levels. Again, each level given rise to a pair of lumbar spinal nerves. So here we have five, L1, two, three, four, and five. The number of spinal nerves will equal the number of lumbar vertebrae. The sacral a uh, segment of the spinal cord was divided into uh, five levels. And again, each one of those levels will give rise to a pair of sacral spinal nerves. And here we see S1, S2, S3, S4, and then S5. And the sacrum uh, is um, the result of a fusion of five sacral vertebrae. Uh, so the number of sacral spinal nerves equals the number of sacral vertebrae. Uh, lastly, uh, we had the coccygeal segment of the spinal cord, the most inferior segment. Uh, it'll give rise to one pair of coccygeal spinal nerves, and then we see those here and here. So 31 pairs when you add this all up. 8 plus 12 is 20, 25, 30, 31.